shadows of an unforgiving ocean, a pillager outpost stood strong. Its malevolence masked by the tranquility of its surroundings. The air carried a deceptive calm as waves whispered secrets to the moon, and the outpost seemed like a picturesque heaven by the sea. But make no mistake, this was no ordinary outpost, no, it was a strategic nightmare for the villages that lay downstream, as the pillagers, cunning and relentless, had found a heaven that had granted them an unparalleled advantage. Nestled by that stony shore, they could unleash the relentless assaults with ease using the vastness of the ocean as their cloak, and the rivers as their highways to destruction. As the moonlit tides danced with the darkness of their intentions, the outpost thrived on the chaos it sowed. Like a malevolent force of nature, the pillagers orchestrated their attacks with calculated precision. The river, a sinister serpent winding its way through countless unsuspecting villages, became the conduit of their terror. The thriving pillagers, masters of plunder and agents of fear, left a trail of shattered communities in their wake. With every raid, their power and influence grew exponentially, turning the once serene outpost into a fortress of nightmares. But in the midst of the pillager outpost's malevolence, there existed a particular soul amongst them. One lone pillager that defied the very nature of his comrades, as will all the others reveled in the chaos of raiding and pillaging. He sought solace by the ocean, a place where violence seemed to flow away with the tide. And so his days were not spent honing the skills of destruction and warfare, but rather they were spent in a pursuit that perplexed his fellow pillagers. As he sung, his voice, a stark contrast to the echoes of war, resonated with the haunting beauty that carried over the waves. He hated the idea of violence, and instead found refuge in his songs that danced along the sea breeze. Now, at first, his fellow pillagers scoffed at his divergence from their wicked ways, annoyed by his lack of interest in their brutal pursuits. But really, they just let him be, dismissing him as just an oddity. After all, he wasn't harming them, and in the midst of their conquests, his melodic retreat seemed inconsequential. But as the years unfolded, the singing pillager honed his craft. His melodies became a beacon, drawing creatures of the deep oceans, fish and axolotls, enchanted by the godly notes gathered around him forming an unlikely congregation of serenity amidst the chaos. The ocean seemed to respond very kindly to his presence, embracing him in a harmonious alliance. In this strange heaven, he found peace. The ocean and its inhabitants became his allies and he reveled in the simple joys of a life untouched by violence. Yet, as the pillager sung and the oceans danced to his tunes, an ominous undercurrent began to stir as change lingered upon the horizon, threatening to disrupt the delicate balance he had forged. 
as on one rainy day, everything was going to change as it was on that day that the other pillagers consumed by their desire for chaos and power had embarked on a raid across the distant seas, leaving the singing pillager alone with his melodies. However, in the distant horizon, a coalition of villagers, armed with an army of iron golems, gathered like a storm about to unleash its fury. The singing pillager stood unaware of the impending tempest, lost in the echoes of his own melodies. The few pillagers on patrol duty at that time caught sight of the approaching force and devoid of any loyalty or concern for their singing comrades, they fled like shadows into the looming wilderness as they only cared to save their own lives. And so they left him oblivious to the impending onslaught, a sacrificial pawn abandoned by his very own. Very quickly, the villagers descended upon the outpost with the iron golems thundering in step by step. The singer, a reluctant participant in the violence that now encircled him, faced the approaching storm with a heavy heart. Refusing to take up arms, he stood there, defenseless, as the villagers, fueled by revenge and the desire for justice, overpowered him with a brutal efficiency that echoed with the cruelty of the rainy day. The once serene outpost transformed into a battleground. The melody quickly silenced by the clash of the iron golems. In the aftermath, his lifeless body was callously thrown into the very ocean that had once embraced him. The waves, no longer a symphony, swallowed his form, carrying him away into the depths. The victorious villagers, having claimed their retribution, returned to the desolate outpost. The air hung heavy with the scent of blood and rain as they pillaged the once thriving heaven, leaving nothing behind but the echoes of a melody lost to the abyss. But in the wake, of the singing pillagers onslaught, the axolotl, gentle creatures that were enchanted by the daily melodies of the fallen singer, quickly discovered his lifeless form washed ashore. Their vibrant colours, once radiant with joy, now dulled by sorrow, reflecting the depth of their grief. They cared for him. A lot. And now, he was no more. And so, driven by an instinctive love for the one who had filled their underwater realm with the beauty of music, the axolotls decided to gather around his lifeless body. And with determined hearts, they embraced their fallen friend. And in a display of collective mourning, they set out on a desperate mission to defy the cruel fate that had befallen upon him. With a synchronized effort, the axolotls, small but resolute, began to haul his body, navigating the ocean depths with a solemn determination. Deeper and deeper they swam, seeking refuge in the ruins of an ancient holy site. A place where the godly energies of the underwater world still lingered. In the hallowed grounds of the ritual sites, the axolotls gently laid the singer's body. 
their eyes, expressing an unwavering sense of hope that transcended the boundaries of their aquatic existence. In unison, they began to emit a soft, mournful hum, a prayer to the gods of Minecraft, begging them to intervene and to restore the life of this fallen singer as their melodies intertwined with the currents of those sacred waters. Time seemed to stand still. The underwater world held its breath, awaiting a divine response to the plea of these humble creatures. Yet, their gods remained silent, unmoved by the sorrowful cries of the axolotls. Desperation crept into their hearts as their realization dawned upon them. The gods, if they even existed, were clearly just indifferent to the death of this fallen singer. A palpable sense of hopelessness enveloped the ritual site. The once vibrant axolotls bowed their heads down in sorrow, their colourful frills now a poignant reflection of grief and defeat. In the depths of those underwater ruins, the echoes of their prayers lingered on, unheard by the gods who presided over the Minecraft universe. The fate of the singer, it seemed, was to just remain entwined with the somber currents of the ocean, lost to the depths of an indifferent realm. But even in the depths of their desperation, the axolotls remained determined to reclaim the singer's life, and they refused to surrender to the cold indifference of these gods. And so their prayers persisted, a melodic plea echoing through the underwater ruins, an unyielding testament to their unwavering resolve. But as their hopes seemed to dwindle, a daring idea took root in the collective consciousness of the axolotls. And so, with heavy hearts, they selected a young, innocent axolotl, an offering to the mysterious forces that governed their world. And then, in a solemn ceremony, the young creature was sacrificed on the podium within that ritual site, its essence merging with the currents that surrounded them. Undeterred by the macabre necessity, the axolotls resumed their chants, their voices growing louder and louder, echoing through the depths of the ocean. The waters around them began to ripple with a strange energy, and the skies above began to darken, and the universe itself seemed to hold its breath. And then, as if answering the numerous prayers of the axolotl, a thunderstorm materialized from the void. The atmosphere cracked with energy, and the very fabric of reality seemed to tremble in anticipation. Suddenly, with a deafening roar, a colossal red crystal materialized in the heart of that storm crashing into the ground with a force that shook the ocean floor. The impact struck the lifeless body of the fallen singer, and a radiant glow enveloped the scene. In a breathtaking display of divine intervention, the crystal began to fragment its shattered pieces, converging upon the singer's body in a dazzling spectacle. While the fragments that weren't absorbed into the singer's formed were propelled into the sky, flying away at unfathomable speeds, leaving trails of luminescence in their wake. 
an intense buzz reverberated through the underwater ruins as the remaining energy surged through the singer's lifeless vessel and the ocean itself seemed to hold its breath anticipating the culmination of this otherworldly fusion in the wake of the mesmerizing event the once dead pillager now stood reborn but not as a pillager no instead he came back to life as a vibrant green axolotl he had become a mythical creature the subscribed axolotl foretold in legends to lead the axolotls to oceanic power and dominance and everlasting peace within the world. He was their hero, and so, as their ageless prophecy had materialized, the axolotls, once mourners, began to bow in awe before their god. The singer was so much more than what they had originally believed. And so, because of that, news of the legendary Green Axolotl's return began to spread like a wildfire amongst the aquatic community. As he, the singer, had transcended the realm of the mundane. Becoming a deity among axolotls, a symbol of hope and power. The waters pulsated with awe as the axolotls, once scattered, now congregated in unison, forming a living tapestry of colour around their newfound god. Yet, beneath the surface, the green axolotl harbored a newfound awareness and consciousness that transcended his former self. He grasped a singular truth. The villagers and his own kin, the pillagers, were all responsible for the violence that had befallen upon him. In fact, they were both responsible for all the violence within the ocean and all the violence on the land. They were responsible for just so much suffering. And so, a burning desire for revenge and retribution ignited within him. A stark difference from the peaceful melodies that once defied his existence. As he now understood that for there to be peace, there must be no violent forces. He was going to have to end all of them. And so, rising from their depths, the green axolotl ascended to the surface of the ocean. A beacon of authority and vengeance. The air cracked with energy. As he unleashed a song more powerful and resonant than ever before. The melody, now a call to arms, drew millions of axolotls to him. Their eyes reflecting a shared determination to follow their god into the unknown. The green axolotl's gaze turned to the horizon, where both villagers and pillagers schemed in their realms of land and sea. He, the god of the aquatic realm, yearned for more than leadership. He craved justice. And so, the green axolotl, now a deity of the aquatic realm, harnessed his newfound powers with a malevolent glee. This song, once a gentle melody, became an irresistible aura to all that ventured into the ocean. A cursed enchantment that lured sailors from distant lands like moths to a flame. The haunting notes of his voice echoed across the ocean, drawing vessels of the unsuspecting towards the source of the enchanted symphony as the sailors approached captivated by the alluring song 
the green axolotl rose from the water surface, a majestic monster against the backdrop of the moonlit night. In a dazzling display, he summoned thunder and lightning, illuminating the darkness with a show of divine wrath. The most tranquil sea transformed into a tempest of chaos, a harbinger of the tumultuous events about to unfold. The sailors, oblivious to the impending doom, found themselves entranced by the green axolotl's celestial performance. And so, mesmerized, they abandoned all reason, steering their vessels towards the alluring singer. Unaware of the treacherous waters that awaited them below. As the boats drew nearer, the green axolotl with a malevolent glint in his eyes intensified his curse song. The sailors, now fully under the spell of his enchantment, disembarked from their vessels. Their enchanted gaze fixated on the green deity. But the moment they stepped into those unforgiving waters, the sea erupted in chaos. From the depths, the army of axolotls, loyal to their new gods, surged forward with a primal fury. Their thrills glowed with an otherworldly energy as they descended upon the unsuspecting sailors, their numbers overwhelming and their attacks relentless. The sailors caught in the throes of the green axolotl's sinister melody were defenseless against the onslaught as they were just completely focused on his voice and so one by one they succumbed to the watery abyss their futile struggles swallowed by the churning currents and his voice the once mighty vessels the once belonged to his victims, now drifted aimlessly, abandoned in the aftermath of a sea turned battlefield. The green axolotl, now reveling in the chaos he orchestrated, watched with satisfaction as the waters claimed the lives of those who dared to venture into his domain. The once peaceful singer had become a malevolent master, orchestrating a symphony of doom that echoed across the vast expanse of the Minecraft ocean. The world above and below the waves now bore witness to the wrath of a deity who embraced the darkness that lurked within their depths. Nothing was going to stop him. He was going to make sure that there was peace in this realm, no matter the sacrifices that were needed. No more violence was going to take place once he was finished. And so, as the malevolent reign of the Green Axolotl continued, tales of terror echoed through the Minecraft realms. The oceans, once a source of bounty, an adventure had now become a dreaded abyss, tainted by the haunting melodies that claimed the lives of any who had dared to sail in its waters. The legends of this aquatic menace spread like a wildfire, an ominous warning whispered from one fearful soul to another. The villagers trembled at the mere thoughts of the cursey, and thus they abandoned their maritime pursuits out of sheer terror and fear. Now, some brave souls still set sail despite all that danger, and they were armed with the intent to confront the green axolotl. But the moment that they entered its sphere of influence, well, their resolve crumbled, their willpower 
no matter how strong, uh, shattered like glass in the presence of the cursed melody. The villagers, once hopeful, met their demise at the hands of the Green Exolotl's aquatic army, leaving only tales of their ill-fated expeditions as a testament to their courage. Now, even the pillagers, often seen as the ruthless tyrants within the world, also hesitated as the allure of untold treasures and hidden pathways of efficient destruction of their enemies was now overshadowed by the looming threat of the Green Exolotl. Now, some, driven by a misguided sense of bravado, attempted to confront the aquatic deity, but they all met the same tragic fate as their villager counterparts. No tactic, no force, no subscribing power, no magic seemed capable of ending the wrath of that oceanic a god. The world, once vibrant and teeming with life, succumbed to a pervasive darkness. Everyone was scared. The once thriving seafaring communities now stood as ghost towns. Their docks abandoned, and their harbours left to the mercy of those relentless waves. In this ominous atmosphere, the once beautiful ocean transformed into a realm of death and despair. The haunting melodies of the green exolotl echoed across the sea, a symphony of doom that permeated the very fabric of the Minecraft world. And so, in a world gripped by fear and desperation, an unexpected alliance emerged from the shadows. Villagers and pillagers, bitter enemies under ordinary circumstances, now stood side by side, united by a common enemy. The malevolent green exolotl that haunted the seas was their adversary. Now, their alliance was fragile, born of necessity, a temporary truce in the face of an existential threat. But it was an alliance nonetheless, and so they were planning to work together to take down this foe. And thus, working together, a colossal sailboat was constructed by the both of them. Along with numerous smaller boats accompanying it, forming a makeshift fleet that sailed into the heart of the cursed oceans. The villagers and the pillagers set their animosities aside as they manned the vessels together. Driven by the shared goal of eradicating the source of their collective terror. Now, the journey was treacherous. The turbulent waters testing the strength of their alliance. Storms raged on and many of the smaller boats succumbed to the relentless fury of the ocean, swallowed by the tumultuous waves. Yet, the Grand Sailboat pressed forward, a symbol of determination that cut through the storms like a defiant blade. And as they navigated through that tempest, the haunting voice of the Green Axolotl grew louder. A siren's call that seemed to pierce the very fabric of reality. The sailors aboard the Grand Sailboat gritted their teeth, their faces contorted by the struggle against the enchanting melody that sought to consume their willpower. Several days passed, and the brave alliance 
sailed into uncharted waters, their eyes set on the mysterious source of the curse song. When finally it happened, the green axolotl emerged from their depths, a figure of dread and power that loomed over them. The once fractured alliance stood united, facing the aquatic deity with a grim determination. The green axolotl, aware of their presence, unleashed its haunting melody with an intensity that shook the very foundations of that sailboat. It was a clash of wills, a battle not only against the physical foe, but against the insidious power that emanated from the green axolotl song. As the grand sailboat drew closer to that malevolent green axolotl, the alliance launched their assaults, swords clashed, arrows flew, and spells were cast in a cacophony of chaos. The sailors, pillagers, and villagers fought with an unwavering determination, seeking to end the aquatic menace that plunged their world into darkness. The Alliance managed to inflict some serious damage, drawing blood from the monstrous axolotl. But the creature, far from defeated, retaliated with a vengeance, as with a haunting command, it summoned an army of axolotls below the decks of those ships, and it ordered them to attack the ocean's depths Turned with their malevolent presence, the green axolotl, infused with dark powers, expanded in size, towering over the alliance's vessels. Thunder echoed as bolts of lightning struck the grand sailboat, igniting flames that danced menacingly on its surface. And a sudden thunderstorm materialized, the tempest summoned by the angered deity. Further complicating the already chaotic battlefield. The malevolent creature, not content with the unrelenting elemental fury, turned his attention to the minds of the villagers and the pillagers. With a mesmerizing gaze, it hypnotized them, compelling them to leap off their vessels, and in a nightmarish move, to convince them to steer their ships into one another. The once unified alliance, now disoriented and manipulated, suffered catastrophic losses as smaller boats sank and thousands of lives were lost to the treacherous seas. Yet, from the wreckage and chaos, a lucky few emerged as survivors. Those who clung to the remnants of their vessel refused to yield. Bruised but unbroken, the Alliance regrouped, their determination unwavering. And so, even in the face of adversity, the survivors pressed on. They strategized, they adapted, and they fought back against the hypnotic thrall of the malevolent Axolotl. Their weapons clashed against the minions, each blow chipping away at the monstrous facade. It was a struggle against the elements, and the tides were starting to turn. The Alliance, once on the brink, of defeat, now found renewed strength. They fought not only for their survival, but for the salvation of their world. The pillagers and the villagers forged a united front, their wills unyielding, their defiance echoing across the tumultuous waters. And, in a climactic moment, the Alliance assaults culminated. The Green Axolotl, weakened by their relentless attacks, succumbed to the onslaught of blades and arrows.
as the creature fell, the storm that raged across the ocean suddenly ceased. The thunderstorm, the army of axolotls, the hypnotic spell, and the elemental fury all dissipated, leaving behind a silent, calmer sea. The survivors, battered and worn, stood there, amazed at their victory over that malevolent deity. The waters, once darkened by the curse of the green axolotl, now reflected the light of a world redeemed from the brink of despair. They were victorious, and so, in the aftermath of the harrowing battle, the survivors, fueled by a mix of relief and lingering unease, approached the still pulsating body of the now dead Green Axolotl. Even in death, the malevolent aura clung to its form. A testament to the darkness that had gripped the Minecraft oceans. The pillagers, seasoned in their way of darkness, sensed that this evil transcended even their understanding. It was as if the very essence of malevolence within the axolotl lingered. A residue of power that defied explanation. A collective decision was made among the survivors. They could not leave such a source of profound darkness unchecked. And so, with determination, they hoisted the lifeless body onto the remains of their boat, determined to distance themselves from this looming threat within his decaying body. And then, the remnants of that vessel set sail, carrying the remnants of the aquatic menace towards an unknown destiny. The survivors navigated the sea for a few more days, their minds heavy with the burden of what they had experienced. But soon, they found a destination as it revealed itself on the horizon. It was a massive mountain, its peaks veiled in mist. And so they hauled their decaying body and they looked for a place to put it within that mountain. And rather quickly, they found a valley, and so they threw the body into that dark valley, hoping that no being would ever be so unfortunate to ever find it. And just to make sure of that, they covered the entrance into that valley with dirt and stone, ensuring the sealed fate of that monster. And so... It was then, with the burial complete, that the survivors parted ways. Their alliance fractured yet again as they returned to their separate worlds of villagers and pillagers, ready to return to war with one another, just as they lacked it. However, just a few thousand years later, the evil forces within that dead being would rise once more, and a new threat far more powerful would curse the world. And so, to learn what happened next, you'll need to watch this video.